This is the vision of using logarithms to identify nonlinear relationships between two variables. In the example, we have the temperature, theta, of a cup of coffee at a time t minutes after it's made. And it's known that the relationship is of the form theta equals k d to the power t, where k and d are constants. If we plotted theta against t, we wouldn't get a straight line. What variables should be plotted to give a straight line graph? Starting with theta equals k d to the power t, take logs of both sides. Then you can use the laws of logs, the log of k times d to the power t is the log of k plus the log of d to the power t. The log of d to the power t is t times the log of d. So our equation can be rewritten as log theta equals the log of d times t plus the log of k. And this is of the form y equals mx plus c, where y is log theta and x is t. So to get a straight line graph, you plot log theta against t. The variables are log theta and t. Log d is the gradient, and log k is the intercept on the vertical axis. The gradient and intercept can be found by drawing a graph of log theta against t on graph paper, or by using a calculator to find the equation of the regression line. In the x column, you would put the values of t, and in the y column, you'd put the values of log theta. So for the first one, you would put the log of 81, and then the log 70, and so on. And your calculator will give you A equals 1.977, and B is minus 0 0.03269, as the, uh, so the equation y equals a plus bx will have a for the intercept and b for the gradient. So the intercept on the vertical axis, 1.977, is at log to base 10 of k. And so we can work out from that what k is. The gradient is log to base 10 of d. So d is 10 to the power minus 0 0.03269, and we can work out what d is. When we know the constants, k and d, we can put those into our equation, theta equals kd to the power t, to forget theta as a function of t. And when t is 5, we can work out the value of theta. We can use logarithms to model relationships of the form either y equals k a to the power x, where the exponent's the variable, or also y equals k x to the power a. And you will need to revise both of those before going on to the next session.